You know, I'm very conscious when I first started uploading to YouTube for 100 days in a row. By the way, we are on day 57, 58, something like that. I said that my episodes were going to be short and concise, five to 10 minutes long. And I've broken my own promise to myself and to you because some of my episodes have been 20, even 30 minutes long. Now, hopefully they have been of some value to you and they, you've enjoyed them and you've, you've taken something away from them. However, I am now committed in the next few days to getting back to short, sharp, concise, value adding episodes. So today we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna talk about five daily non-negotiable habits that have made my life healthier, happier, and more productive. I'm not telling you that you need to do these. I'm not telling you that you should do these. I'm not even saying that you can do them. I'm not the thought police. I'm just telling you what has worked for me. Okay, we're gonna rattle through them as fast as possible and then we can get in, we can get out, and we can all crack on with our day. So, number one is, I'll do them in order, I'll do them in chronological order. So number one is I always make sure that my phone is away from my bed. So when my alarm goes off, I have to get out of bed to turn the alarm off. Because if you've got your phone right next to you, then it's very easy to either hit snooze or probably more destructive, pick it up, see all your notifications, go through them all, and then 20 minutes later, you're getting out of bed. Nothing has happened, right? You've wasted time. And you probably started your day incredibly negatively because let's be honest, unless you're getting a notification saying, congratulations, you have won the lottery, most of your notifications are going to bring you despair and fear and pain and, and resentment and all the negative emotions, right? Depending on who, who and what you're messaging and, and the notifications that you've got on and which apps you're using. But the vast majority of them these days are not putting out much of a positive message. So my first habit for you or for me was to make sure that you are waking up with your phone out of reach of your bed. So you have to get up and get out of bed to turn the alarm off, okay? The other, and actually just a second one on that, but it's like a part two of this one is sleep with your phone on airplane mode and then you're not waking up to a whole load of, what is that? A whole load of notifications, okay? So that's kind of two-parted one there. Number two, next thing you wanna be doing is you wanna be having electrolytes with water before you have coffee. So I will, the first thing I'll do, I mean, I've always got a big bottle of water with me. I'll probably have like, half of one of these so like to here it's like a liter this is a liter and a half bottle so like 750 mils but i'll have it in like a protein shaker which is over there and um yeah i'll have 750 mils of water cold water ice cold water with some electrolyte powder you can buy anywhere i'm not going to recommend brands to you and uh yeah it's a great way to start the day before you have coffee and then coffee you want to be having sort of 90 90 minutes after you've woken up so that's number two. Number three, a set of press-ups straight away. So wake up, have your electrolytes and water, do your press-ups. This is multifaceted, this habit. First of all, it's gonna make you bigger and stronger, tick. Second of all, it's gonna wake you up, tick. Third of all, it's gonna make you feel like a man, tick. Fourth of all, it's gonna make you feel like you've actually accomplished something because there's that old, I think it was Jordan Peterson video where he talks about making your bed and having that being a small habit, completely agree with him, great habit to have, definitely make your bed. That, like if you're not making your bed, then you're in the wrong place. I mean, like you should be doing that just as a bare fucking minimum if you're an adult. But doing your press-ups is one step further for me. And I think it's a good one for men. It doesn't really matter how many you do, ideally you would try and beat how many you've done the day before, but once you get to the point where you're banging out like 60, 70 in a row, it's gonna be pretty tough. But bang them out, get them done, it's gonna take you less than a minute, you can go fast, you're not looking for perfect form here. It's, it's not about the, the physical aspect, it's more about the mental gain. You get up, it gets the blood pumping, it, get, it wakes your brain up and you're, you're ready to go, okay? So that's number three. Number four, sunlight. Get as much of it as you can. If you live in the UK, too bad. That is not my problem, I cannot do anything about that. The only thing I can advise you to do is to supplement with vitamin D and to go on sunbeds. Like literally, sunlight is like, free steroids. It is just incredibly good for you. Obviously too much of it, you get a sunburn, all that, sh all that jazz, but sunlight, as much as you can, in my opinion, is gonna be a good thing. And then number five, last but not least, and I'll be honest with you, I could probably name more than five, maybe I'll do a part two to this, but number five is podcasts. Listening to a podcast every single day, ideally some form of interview podcast is my favorite, 
because you're gonna hear two people who are more successful, probably smarter and experts on a subject talking and that's all, all that's gonna do is positively, positively reinforce your brain waves. Every time I listen to a podcast, I come off of it, not only with content ideas, I come away from it inspired, motivated, and it, that all just makes me more productive. So those are the just five, now there's a lot more than that, but those are just five habits that I've got. They are daily non-negotiable habits that I do every single day. Obviously I've, met, I've, lived, I've left out the basic ones like shower and brush your teeth and you turn on your computer. You're like I'm talking ones that maybe people haven't told you before. Like, cause anybody can say like, drink water and you know, like anyone can say the boring ones. These ones, maybe someone's told you about sunlight before. I doubt many people have told you about the other four. So how are we doing? What are we on? I think we just nailed down five and a half minutes. Six minutes, boom. Hope that was useful. I'll see you tomorrow.